Well, that was very spontaneous. <laughs> oh, man. I live in West Hollywood, which is a gay community. I didn't know it was gay when I moved here. I should have. The street signs are completely different. In the average city, it'll say dip. You know, where I live, it says, you know, plie, which is close, which is close. It's close. It's my first joke. That's my first joke. I actually grew up in Florida, is where I'm from. It was tough growing up in Florida because all of my friends were, uh, you know, retired. So it was really hard to... I come home from school, like, Wayne, how was your day at school? Good. How's that um, cataract thing? Is that clearing up at all? Is that... Can you see me? I've been going to a lot of rock concerts lately. I went to see the uh, Pink Floyd concert. Yeah, I fit in there. That was good. <laughs> I'm a little upset at the Pink Floyd people. I felt like somewhere on the ticket it should have said, to truly enjoy this show, please take some sort of hallucinogenic drug, because I'm serious. I like the show, but the people around me seem to be enjoying it on a completely different level than I was. That's all. I, you know, <laughs> they seem to be, uh, you know, getting that Pink Floyd experience a little more than I was. At one point, let me give you an example, a giant pig <laughs> floats out over the audience. Now, like, I don't know, was this a hot dog ad? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the people around me are like, the pig is coming, they're diving under chairs. <laughs> they're belly crawling across the floor. <laughs> I'm in the middle of it all going, you know, I can clearly see the wires. <laughs> I can see the wires, this sucks. Then later on, everyone is chanting like some sort of Eichmann rally. We don't need no education. I'm like, oh yeah? Well, that's a double negative. <laughs> I know this is a bad time, but actually, uh, that means you do need education. As a matter of fact, it's like the two negatives become a positive. It's weird. I can't explain it, but I, maybe we don't need any education. I'm just saying. I'm just saying as an idea. I saw Dokken in concert. It's an interesting group. I got the tickets last year. I went to get my high holiday tickets. Now, in California, they sell tickets to the Jewish high holidays because there are three types of Jewish holidays, the high, reasonable, and cheap, which is true. <laughs> so I'm in line. There's a little kid in front of me, like 11 years old. He's got a little jacket on. It says Dokken. I had never heard of the band. I go, excuse me, kid, who's Dokken? He turns to me with that, could you be more out of it and still be breathing look on his face? And goes, Rockin' with Dawkins. <laughs> Some sort of Dr. Seuss rhyme band that I wasn't familiar with, obviously. I get to the window, I go, excuse me, I just need one ticket for Rosh Hashanah. The guy behind the glass goes, I'm sorry, I'm completely sold out. Because what I do for the same price have a Dawkins ticket. <laughs> so I said, that wouldn't happen to be Rockin' with Dawkins by any chance, would it? He goes, yeah. So I go, all right, let me have the docking ticket. I'll worship in my own way. So I take the ticket. I go to the concert. I notice dress codes have changed a little bit of rock concerts. Guys, it's still basically jeans, t-shirts, sneakers thing. Women, it's now dress as slutty as you possibly can without any regard to height or weight. As why is that? What happened? It's like... During the week, we're on a bowling team. Saturday night, it's a black bra and a moo moo skirt. You know, I just here to see the band. Luckily, the lights go down. Who comes running out on stage, docking, screaming into the microphone, a very original opening line. Are you ready to rock? <laughs> Are you ready to rock? Uh, no, Mr. Dockin, we're not. Uh, there's 12,000 of us here. We've been chanting your name for 20 minutes. We're wasted. We're here to do a round table on the Peloponnesian War. We thought, but you'd be a great moderator for that. I can't hear you. Yes. I can't, shut up, you can hear us. There's 12,000 of us screaming yes in unison. You could hear us. Pete Townsend could hear us, come on. So they start playing. They're rocking, people are rocking. I'm heckling, I'm like, docking. Dokken, you suckin'. Get off the stage in, you slobbin'. Get a job in, Dokken. 
They don't listen. Finally, my favorite part of the show, the end. Good night, L.A. They go running off stage. Now we're standing there going, is that good night? Could that possibly be good night? No, this is some stupid ritual that has no spontaneity at all. We stand here while they're backstage drinking a fifth of Jack Daniels. Sure enough, right on cue, they come running out. You wouldn't let us leave. You wouldn't. Shut up. You wouldn't turn on the lights. So then thank you very much. My time is up. Thank you. Thank you.